The movement to recall Wayne County Executive Robert Facano is one step closer to getting on the ballot. The recall language has been approved. Facano is under fire following the Wayne County severance scandal exposed by 7 Action News investigators. 7 Action News reporter Cheryl Choden is in the newsroom. And Cheryl, you've been talking to the attorney who launched this recall. Well, that's right, Joanne. Richard Convertino said after a one-hour hearing today, the petition and the language got the thumbs up. He says Vicano's lawyers tried to block the petition on some minor mistakes in grammar, but he says the panel did not buy it. It was approved unanimously by the Wayne County Board of Elections, which is comprised of the clerk, the treasurer, and the chief probate judge. Lawyer Richard Convertino says he's pleased tonight that he can move forward now with his petition to recall Wayne County Executive Robert Facano. And he says he believes he'll have no trouble getting the signatures needed to put this on a ballot. There's a groundswell of people who, who, uh, who want to get this done, who are angry, who, who are fed up, fed up with the way our government's been run here in Wayne County and the profligate waste and spending and uh, all the implications that go about the accusations of fraud and mismanagement. He says Ficano's lawyers tried to block the petition because a comma was in the wrong place. But in the end, he said it was approved, and he'll be starting his drive as soon as tonight. Now we go out and uh, we have to get 25% uh, of the last gubernatorial vote in Wayne County. Um, registered voters, which is, uh, by my calculation, approximately 140,000 uh, signatures. As he'll be putting together a political action committee to work with him to recruit people to go out and take the petitions everywhere registered voters might be. If and when he does get the signatures needed, they will all need to be verified before this issue could be placed on a ballot. In the newsroom, I'm Cheryl Choden, 7 Action News. Diana, back to you.